Right then, a freshly washed bike, and I'm taking it on some smeggy roads here. Uh, great. Anyway, enough of that. I'm off to the Harley dealership to have some work done on my Sport Glide, but I'm getting a courtesy bike. Ooh, let's see what fun we can have with that. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you can join the channel in the series. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below, and check out the website revelatealpha.com. Oh, what a great start it is here in uh, England. Yes, uh, but anyway, I'm riding my uh, heroic Harley Scaramanga down to the, um, the local Harley dealership because I'm actually having a bit of work done to it, and uh, all will be revealed in good time. But, but. Uh, I'm getting a courtesy bike as well. Now, I believe it could be a cheeky little sportster. Now, this should be quite interesting because I'm obviously uh, quite a big, big fella and uh, sportsters are, are, are quite small. But, uh, actually, pound for pound, I've always loved sportsters. And actually, in terms of physical dimensions and proportions, I've always loved them as well. So, let's go and check it out. Right, I'm here. I've arrived. Okay, what do you want to do? You can't go that way, you've got to go this way. There we go. Right, they're just opening the shop here. And let me just pull in. Cool. Lovely. Right, let's go and do the deeds. Well, there it is, Sportster, 1200 Custom, look at that, look at that beauty, <laughs> nice, yeah, wide wheels, fat front tyre, nice, I wouldn't say necessarily it's my sort of style on the uh, Sportsters, I do prefer some of the other ones, but actually, it does look pretty smashing, I must say. And it's a small bike. I mean, look at the size of me compared to that, but it should be a good ride. Let's go and give this a go, shall we? Fit on it, yeah, I'll fit on it, not too bad. Folding pegs. Oh, 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 oh. away I go. You can already tell the revving on it is a lot, a lot smoother than mine. It's a, it's sportier. It's it's quicker. You know, it, it's a faster revving engine. It doesn't pop, pop, pop. It's more like a you know a purr, really. Let's see if I can muscle my way in here. There we go. Yeah, this is all right, isn't it? I thought I was going to feel too big on this, but actually, it feels all right. I feel quite comfortable on it. Mid-mounted controls, I like, I've always liked mid-mounted controls anyway. And because it's a, you know, it's a uh, sports uh, and it's a uh, 1200, you still got a little bit of poke there, but it's slimline as well. Which is nice. Alright, let me just uh, see if I can get here. Oh yeah, I mean it accelerates really well. I mean it 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 just it definitely does not have the power and the pull as my sport glide. But look, this is a 1200 in compared to uh you know a, a, a big engine bike, but look this, you flick this in and out. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I like this. I think best get this on some back roads. Whilst this doesn't have the overall power of the of the bigger, the soft tails of course, you know the 107 cubic inch of the you know 114. This 1200cc, I'll tell you what, is a bit of fun. Oh yeah, counter steering, get in there my son. Yeah, it feels really light and it feels just, 
just what you want from a bike to have a bit of hooligan fun, you know? Especially around town. Especially around town. This would be perfect. Perfect bike. Loving this. Oh, very nice. Now, lots of people always know that the great thing about the sports are, in my opinion, is that there are so many different options and variations just out the bag. You got sports, and now in the UK here, we still got the seven or eight variations. I know the 2020 lineup in the US, for example, I think they've gone down to four different parts of the world. Now, you, you know, watching one of my other videos when I talked about all the new 2020 models and all how it's all changed. But, you know, in terms of styling, you can pick whatever you want, you know, in terms of a style for a bike, for these Sportsters. A mate of mine had a 48, and I absolutely love that 48. It was a really cracking bike, I've got to say. Yeah, look, I'm just, look, just length it over a little bit, scrape to the peg there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is just a nice, nice bike. You know, you fit it, you know, and it's also, it's a bit reminiscent, I've got to say, of like a, a British bike as well. You know, a Triumph, it feels very Triumph-like. You know, you've got that kind of purr, instead of the parallel twins of the, um, of the Triumphs, you know, you've got this, uh, you know, the Harley engine, but it's, you know, it's thin enough, you can grip, grip the tank with your knees like that. It sounds, it sounds very fruity as well. It's not a big throaty engine. It just sounds really fruity. And what I mean by that, it just, it purrs. It just revs up high. You know there's not a lot of power there, but it's great. Now, as I say, I've always thought in proportions terms, the Sportsters are great. I think, you know, you can, modify them or just like any any Harley Davidson of course or any bike really of course you can that's a silly thing to say I mean but there are so many different options available out of a stock bike a stock but you can buy sportsers that just look bloody cool do you know what I mean they look really cool the 88 now the, the question was do you go for the 883 or do you go for the 1200 I've had so many people contact me and say, yeah, look, I'm going to just get my uh, bike, just go for my new Harley, um, or I've just uh, got my bike license, whatever, and I'm going to go for an 883, uh, first of all, and then maybe change it later, you know. Look, and I say to them, well, that's, that's not a bad shout, actually. If, if you want to go for a, a smaller bike, first of all, just to find your feet uh, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm a great believer in getting a bike that fits you for a start. So, you know, physical dimensions, I say, is always really important. But getting an 883, one of the big only criticism I would say is that you may grow out of it in terms of power very, very quickly. So, so I think if you're going to go for a Sportster, my leaning would be go for a 1200 straight away. And a lot of people say, oh, it's a 1200cc, but these are not sports bikes, you know, it's still very manageable. And remember, you control everything with the with your right hand, with the throttle. You know, so just, you know, you ride it as, as fast as you want or as slow as you want. You know, but I think with the 883, you're gonna, it's, it'd be great around town. Look, and you can ride it anywhere, of course you can. But I think you just you just feel a bit a bit power limited after a while, and you'd outgrow it. And indeed, there are so many 883s on the market already that you know Harley would hate me for saying this, but just go and get, if you if that's your intention, just go and buy a used one. Don't go and buy a brand new 883. And then if you want to invest your money, go for a. Uh, then go buy a new uh, 1200 if, if that's what you want. Now, obviously, it depends where you are in the world now. Sorry, my mask is getting in the way. There we go. Obviously, it really depends where you are in the world and what options are available to you now as well. But just going in the bends here, it feels really light. I would say, as a comparison towards my bike, my sport glide in this, it feels a bit too light. Now, I think this is more to do with it's just, it's just I'm not used to it. 
but it does feel really light but at the same time it's it's great flickability as, as I would like to say not an official term of course just get past this sorry um, but it's it you know you can flick it in and out of bands this would be great in and out of traffic because it's such a, a, a slim profile and it's light and I think if you're this bike suits all sorts of people if you're a shorter person if you're a, a smaller person in general the weight is going to be very easy to manage if you're a bigger person look I'm over six foot and I fit it it fits me I can ride it do you know what it to me this this reminds me of I said about British bikes before this reminds me of a Triumph Bonneville this is what it reminds me of it's got that cool factor it's got that that ability to make you smile and get on there but you know you're still dealing with a relatively small engine now I've never never bought into this notion that sports are for girls never bought into that at all I think that's absolute nonsense because these bikes are really capable you get them into the bend you get them on the twisties especially I mean it's really it's a bit wet this morning it's a bit damp so you know I'm not gonna I'm not going to push it or anything like that uh, and obviously it is a courtesy bike so I'm going to be respectful in that regard but I tell you what this is a it's a great bike to have a bit of fun on that's for sure definitely definitely great fun look 1200 cc you know it packs a punch is it going to be great for long distance look yeah it'll be fine you know you've just got to keep on stopping for fuel of course you know so in terms of range of the tank of course yeah there'd be an issue there but that sports is that's nothing new they've been they've been like that for the last 30 40 years or whatever uh the the engine the, the, the suspension actually feels really good on this as well i've got to say you know it feels tight it feels it feels um you know well planted you know I'm not bouncing around all over the the, the road I'm actually uh, in control it feels as if uh, you know it's it's rebounding if, if yeah and it's not diving under under braking either it's it's good just put a little bit of brake in it yeah I mean brakes wise it's not too bad as well yeah I don't think you know it's we have a, no no again again no 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 those brakes are good they work fine yeah just lead a little bit so 60% on the front maybe 70% on the front go a little bit on the rear because these sports aren't really cruisers they're more of you know yeah well they're, they're the sportier version of your Harleys aren't they you know so you kind of break in a more conventional sense as opposed to in a cruiser sense the weight is more balanced center of mass is more in the center of the in the frame as opposed to you're on the rear tire some more so much it's a comfortable riding position ergonomically it's a comfortable riding position I don't feel cramped I don't feel as if this is a bike that is you know just for you know for teenagers as it were it feels like a bike that anybody could ride and quite right too why not when it comes down to it this comes down to your personal preferences and your personal style but it's not about the capability of the bike now as I said right at the start does this have the power of the other bikes of the soft tails and the tools of course it doesn't of course it doesn't you know it would be it would be wrong of me to even suggest such a thing but I tell you what listen to this yeah it is a purr it's a purr and it accelerates it accelerates gently now it doesn't pull you out of your seat like a like a sport guide like a street bolt you know when you open it up it really you know really wants to pull you out but it purrs you along it pulls you along and I think this is a if you're getting into Harleys, if you're getting into bikes in general, actually you couldn't go far wrong with a Sportster as your first bike. They are nice. They are nice. Look, and especially if you're the kind of person who's not really going to ride that, you know, long distances. And especially if you're going to be doing a lot of urban riding. I tell you what, this is a good shout for a bike. It really is a good shout for a bike. 
Now you're probably wondering why am I being so enthusiastic uh, of uh, a Sportster? Can I be absolutely honest with you? This is my very first time on uh, one of the new or one of the latest uh, Sportsters. I, I rode a, a mate's uh, 48 when they first came out. That was the first time I'd ever been on a Sportster. But this is, uh, I haven't been on one in many years. I was actually thinking it was gonna be yeah, a little bit, yeah, not my cup of tea. But it's all right, it's all right. Look, if I had a stable of bikes, I would, I would seriously think about having one of these. And do you know what it would be for? Any time I had to go into town, any time I had to just ride into the city or something like that, right, that's it, today it's sports today. You know, it's that kind of thing. Now, would I go for this 1200 Custom? No, not my thing, but it's not my style, but that's got nothing to do with the bike. That's just a, an aesthetic preference, but I'd definitely go for one of the other sportsters. Little bar hopper, yeah. Perfect, perfect. I mean, the, the engine, it literally is silky smooth. Now you're gonna probably say, well, what are you talking about? It's a bloody Harley, you know, it's, but no, it is, it's silky smooth. It doesn't, you know, pop, 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 you know, as, as the, the M8 engines go. This is just, it's just lovely. Now, obviously the Sportsters, coming under a lot of pressure now because of emissions laws and all that kind of stuff. And people have talked about the future of the sportsters. Will they be around the next few years or not? Who knows? I mean, who knows? I mean, my my feeling is on the sportsters, actually, the, the idea of the sportster should stay. Lightweight, good power to weight ratio, a sportier feel, slim line, a, a bike that's great for the for the uh, you know urban roads you know that kind of thing but whether it would stay with this engine or not I don't know I I've, I've got a feeling that they wouldn't make they wouldn't be making a total error if they used the uh, that new engine that they're gonna put into the Pan America or to the uh, Street Fighter you know uh, and that would be even more of a boost in power but look, you've got a, a lightweight chassis, maybe change your sashi a bit, but still have the same notion of a sportster. Maybe you maybe have to call it something else, but it'll be still the same feeling, there's still that same mentality, that credo. You know, lightweight, fast, go. You know, strip back, no messing around, that's it. You know, if you're going camping, guess what, you, you're roughing it. You're not carrying stuff on here. Would you go chew up on this bike? Yeah, you could, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest it would be a, a, the best ride. Maybe short distance, fine, but nothing more than that. But not, I don't think sports is for me. Sports are not about that. Sports aren't about you know the, the big touring adventure and all that kind of stuff. They are about having fun. You know, this is you know when you talk about Harley lifestyle type stuff. This is when you get the, you know, the cool cats, you know, in the flannel shirts and the open face helmets and the, you know, the dark shades and the little trimmed beardy, beardy, goatee, goatee beards. Going to that little biker hangout, meeting up with the cool girls, you know, on their sportsers as well. And they're all having sports to fun. You know, this is kind of catalogue stuff. This is kind of Harley lifestyle catalogue stuff. And I think if that's, if that's what you're after, then you won't go far wrong with a bit of sports to fun. And I think that's what it is. I think if you're if you're kind of a serious down dour dude, I don't think the sports is for you. But if you're into a bit of fun and a bit of excitement, I tell you what, having a sportster is not a bad shout. Brakes work great, suspension is great, it's light, it's nimble. The power delivery is, is certainly more than adequate. This 1200 is more than adequate. I think my, my recommendation would be go for the 1200, not the 883. Or if you're going to go for an 883 as your first bike, get one, get a used one, but you'll probably find that you'll, you'll go up to uh, a 1200 quite quickly. The only thing I would say about the Sportster is this. 
If you're looking for something that's got a sports-to-like frame, or size, I should say, but you want a lot more power, then I would say don't go for a sports at all, go for the soft tail uh, street bob. Go for the street bob. Because, in my opinion, that has been slimmed down so much that you're getting a much better bang for your buck, really. Now, is the road closed here or not? Probably is. Uh, but, you know, that I would... You know, that's all I would say. But I think if you want to have a sports, you're going to have so much fun here. You're going to have so much fun. And you're going to be loving it. Look, as I say, suspension is great. It works right. It's comfortable. It's a comfortable ride. I feel planted on the bike. That's good. The, I mean, the roads are pretty slippy here. But I don't feel uh, uncomfortable at all. I've got a problem with my visor fogging up, unfortunately. That's why I'm a bit in and out all over the place. Um, but, you know, the riding position is good. These mid-mounted controls, uh, foot pegs rather, are, are all good. Clutch operation, silky smooth. Engine purrs very nicely. And it revs, you know, like a, a sportier bike should. Uh, and, and, you know, I think initially, yeah, that's why the Buells had these sportster engines, didn't they? You know, because they, they, they had that kind of feel to them. But look, they are... All I would say, great bike, great, great fun, great fun this bike, I would say. And, and it's still, it's got the power here. I mean, I'm doing, you know, not you know, sort of 40, 50 miles an hour into these bends, no problem. Just get a bit of airflow up my visor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling it was closed. Oh my god. Alright, let's go around. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. And it just, oh, oh, just lean it into the bend. Bit of counter steering. Oh, oh, oh. Beauty. Beauty. What can I say? You know, sportsters aren't my thing in terms of uh, my first choice bike. I, I'm not going to try and sell you on the idea that it is. I love my sport glide. Of course I do. But I'm saying to you that if you chose a sportster, I don't think you'd be disappointed. But you've got, I think, you've got to appreciate it for what it is, and you've got to ride it in a, in a certain way. And the biggest benefit you'll get is, you know, making best use of its quality features. You know, its, it's slim profile, its light handling, its compactness, that kind of thing. You can ride any bike in any situation, the Grand Tour, whatever. You can do the bar hop and whatever. But I think certain bikes are suited to certain things more. And this bike, these Sportsters, are certain, you know, they're, they're suited to short distances, having fun with your friends, you know, that kind of thing. You know, male or female, big or small, I think you're going to have fun on this bike, definitely. All I would say is get them while you can, because if the rumours are true about you know whether they're going to discontinue these bikes in the future or not, who knows? But uh, yeah, get them while you can, and you've got you've got a rich sort of pedigree, a rich history you know, of these sportsters as well. And you know, you, you got sports or associations, sports to clubs, whatever. You, you're never going to be alone on a sports day. You're never going to be, you know, out on your own. Yeah, the one thing I would say about the Sport Glide, for example, which I ride, there are not many of them around where I ride. Um, but sports are all over the place. 
you know, great resale value to a certain degree, uh, but you certainly pick them up really ch reasonably priced, and uh, you know, you pick them up anywhere. Parts are all over the place, of course, yeah, need legions of parts. But it's one of those bikes that's been around for so long. There's so many incarnations, so many ideas that you know you, you just never run out of ideas, never run out of inspiration, I should say, for doing up your bike in wh whichever way you want to do it. Now, invariably, I think you're going to customize it, but I think getting the base model right for you that would be better. You know, I, I think if you go for the more the darker look, the more um, the iron. Uh, kind of w whichever incarnation you want you know I, I think that would it, it, for me that would be more of a look for me but that's not to say that would be for you oh and it's very slippy here very muddy on the roads as well it's hot, a bit horrible here but look it's it's just like any bike you've got to ride them conservatively in crappy weather but I tell you what it's, it's fine, it's fine. It feels light, but it feels in control as well. Gear changing is good, power delivery is good, clutch is good, suspension is good. What more do you want? What more do you want? You know, you can, you know, change the pipes of this to make it sound really throaty if you want it to. You know, put a different stage on it. Stage one, two, but I think look, it, 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 if I were to be honest with you, I think if you're going to get a start up stage in a sports star, unless that bike re it really is to your liking and you really want to, you know, you love the sports stuff for what it is, I would say instead of you know going beyond a stage one on a sports, I would say just up upgrade to a soft tail street ball. That's what I would say to you. Because actually on the bike, from the handlebars down, it actually feels very street bob-like. The tank is very similar. The handlebars are totally different. Of course they are. Of course they are. But you know, but, but you know, I, I would say the, the street bob now is the bigger version, the big brother now of uh, the Sportster. That's what I would say. But anyway, anyway, look, what a, what a great ride this has been. Anyway, look, this is my opinion. As I say, the, 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 the sportsters in general, I suppose. I'm a review of the sportsters, but I'm on the 1200 Custom. I've always liked love the 48. I love it, some of the, you know, the, uh, the aesthetics of the uh, sportster. I think proportions-wise, I've always loved them. Some of the custom bikes out there are based around the sports of frame are fantastic. I think the heritage is great. I think the sports range is what it's been used for over the years has been great. I think its time is up, really, but I think it can live on with an injection of a maybe a few new ideas, maybe a different engine, maybe a tweak to the chassis. But I think fundamentally, this is a bike. They should not lose this, they should not do away with this idea of a bike. A small, compact, lightweight, nimble, in and out, a city riding, city streets riding, primarily, great bike, great bike. Anyway, look, this has been my review. Let me know what you think. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. Check out the website, revelatehow.com. And well, you know what? If you want one, go get yourself a Sportster. Crack on. Turn on now. Revelator.